on a text. I mean, I assume that's who we're calling. I don't know. Well, well I'm calling because I want, you know, I'm hoping. You... I know. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. We're going to get a little bit chill today. Okay. You know, let's yeah. do the Awkward Tuesday Island style. So, oh, I like that. Wherever you are right now, picture yourself with palm trees all oh, around. Uh, you're holding a, a coconut drink in your hand. Oh, I'm in Hawaii. Sitting right next to you in a reclined beach chair yes. is a dude that you've been having a slowly deteriorating relationship okay. with. Okay, oh, that just, oh, just killed my vibe. Talk to me. I am reading my book on Kindle right now. Oh, you should. Okay. Oh, isn't travel nice? Uh, uh, now that we're in the right headspace for this, uh, let's talk with one of our listeners, Steph, who's a little bit worried about the status of her relationship right now. Uh -oh. Steph, uh -oh. welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Uh -oh. <laughs> Doesn't sound like your vibe's very chill right now, Steph. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to imagine the palm trees and the coconut. You yeah. Know? Okay. yeah. Sit down the rest of that Mai Tai and then tell us about the guy <laughs> that you're seeing right now. What, what's his name? Grady. 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 Okay. Okay. And he's he's a boyfriend or what? Well, we've been dating for like around six months. Okay. And um, I mean, overall, it's been really good for me. We have a lot of fun when we hang out. We go on dates and trips and oh, trips already. Just weekend trips. Oh, you know, okay. Not yeah. trips around the world or anything. Okay. And some guys are more bold like that. They'll go on quick trips. I, if any girls want to go on a trip, yeah. like, <laughs> I mean, the six month point for me in relationships was always the point where I'm like, eh, do we want to do this still? Oh, you know, wow. it's like a real big defining moment, I feel like, at yeah. six months. Yeah, it should have come before that, right? Okay. <laughs> no, it's like every, like, three months, six months, nine months. Oh, you know, it's like a quarter. I agree with that. It, it's yeah. like a quarterly It's a reevaluating <laughs> period. So, where, where are you at with your relationship stuff? Yeah, so like 80% of the relationship is great, but like 20% is a little frustrating because it seems like he's hiding me with my friends when I have something, you know, to do and I invite him. He always seems to be busy or have some excuse. Wait, he doesn't want to hang out with your friends is what you're saying? I mean, he hasn't said that directly, but it's implied when he seems to be busy every single time yeah. yeah okay it's implied when somebody comes to their door and he tosses a blanket over her head and he's like, Shh, don't say anything get in the closet <laughs> no, I, I hear and then saying. with his friends he'll say well i'm going out da, 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 and i'll say oh that sounds like fun i want to come but he does but then he'll make excuses why well, it's a guy's night or you uh, won't you won't have a good time or have you that sucks yeah i know but i also know people like i have a good friend who literally didn't introduce me to his now husband for like two years years, oh. years. he was like it's oh. not ready we're not ready we're not ready we're not ready I'm and like, look at that was, they're married now they're married i mean it was a oh, big wow. step for him to do oh. that mm -hmm. where for other people it's you know not that big of a deal so maybe yeah. he's just coming from that standpoint possibly you know which is why like i'm calling you guys for advice. Yeah. Um, and i'm not and i didn't break up with him yet or anything but oh god yet. Yet. <laughs> so back to the family and the friends but he he met my mom and my older oh, wow. sister oh, but okay. it wasn't planned you know it was almost like he oh. came over and they happened to be there oh, oh i see that's the closest. And, yeah i'm just starting to wonder what's going on you know i don't think it's another girl you're but making some I big assumptions like how did it go when you met your mom and your sister what was that experience like I mean, he was respectful, he was friendly, but it wasn't like over the top, perfect meet. You know, it wasn't your ideal first meeting, mm -hmm. kind of. Huh. Okay. I'm just so confused. It feels like maybe, I, I don't know, could he be ashamed of me or... Would you consider yourself like a fun person to hang out with? What? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Is she boring? Well, you yeah. know, like some people, they want to go out and they want to have a good time. And if their significant other is there, it's mm. it's not quite as good of a time. Oh. You don't want to bring someone that makes it like awkward. No. Why would you be dating that person then if they, if they are <laughs> fun to hang out with? Well, they're good for like cuddling. They're, they're good in private, <laughs> you know, but in a public setting. But I, I don't See, know. What, I what do like... you think? What do you think is going on, Steph? She's named yeah, like I'm everything sure. under the sun right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's named everything from he's ashamed of her he's dating somebody but, else but the most important thing here is how it makes you feel exactly have you told him how you feel 
you know, I try to start conversations about it, but I don't want to attack him. You know what I mean? There's like a fine line. So you think ambushing him on a radio show is going to make him feel unattacked? I mean, I assume that's who we're calling. I don't know. Well, well I'm calling because I want, you know, I'm hoping you guys could help me in terms of tell me what I should say to him. You can start with hello. That's the good way to start it. <laughs> And then we'll have to think of more after there. Oh, oh she can but say I, her name, who it is. Oh, uh, um, yeah, well, that's getting pretty complicated. I don't know if we're going to advance it, but I know Brooke is thinking that six months and not introducing you to people is not really a red flag, but for no, some people it is. I I would say I'd say it is. I think it's sure. pretty sketch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it could be either way. I mean, it could be anything at this point, you right? Just it seen could be, be successful. Yeah, it could be something where he is just not ready for that move in the relationship. Or it could be that all of your fears are true and he's absolutely yep. ashamed and scared to be seen with you. Yeah, You're I'm awful. saying that the options are open I here. don't know. I use the order and I have good oh. eyes. <laughs> well, either way, we're going to try and have a healthy conversation about this. When we play a song, we'll come back, give you a little bit of advice, and then we'll call your boyfriend for you, mm. and then we'll let you make your awkward Tuesday phone call. Okay, that Steph? sound healthy when we're calling okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, must, you know, semi-healthy oh, conversation. Yeah, okay. It's the best we can do here. We'll do it next. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. We don't like to believe it, yeah. but it does happen some guys are just shady and they'll go out of their way to no. hide a girl from their friends and family so they won't find out no, Jeff, what do you mean? Look, i'll be honest i do it with this show what oh, you hide Jeff. us i don't tell my family that i work with you guys they think that i'm on a different much more successful radio station oh, they think you're, with a you're ashamed trust, of us? trust me it's just easier that way I don't that know. way they're happy you guys are happy we're all happy i don't feel good now it's not about, about you, it's about me and my family. I, I don't about you. Well, one of our listeners, Steph, is worried because her boyfriend of six months is kind of hiding her away. Mm -hmm. That's how yeah. she feels, and she wants to know, is that really what's happening, or why is it happening? Yeah. Steph, how are you feeling before we do this call? Um, I don't feel great about <laughs> that aspect of our relationship. Yeah. Uh, you know, at first I was like, oh, you should just ask him why. You know, that's all yeah. you need to find out. But then if he is secretly hiding you away, is he yeah. going to give you a straight answer? No. You know? Oh. Probably not. Right? So, like, <laughs> I feel you want to like, hear the straight answer? I mean, I still think you should ask why, but I think you just need to be really careful if he starts to direct you in other ways and not answer the question. You need to bring him back. Yeah, yeah. How do your friends feel about that? Do they feel like they're being hidden away? Um, well, I showed them a picture of him, and they said he was cute, but they also kind of said that they think I'm out of his league. Oh, oh. wow. Oh. Wait, wait, Why that you're you totally wanna... separate. That you're, <laughs> that you're better than him, right? Not that you're... Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. the other way. <laughs> they're like, girl, you ugly. <laughs> <laughs> True friends would say that to each other. Yeah, that's true. Let's just do this. We're your friends here, oh, Steph, so yeah. we're going to dial your boyfriend's number, and we'll jump in when we feel like you need a little bit of help, okay? Okay. Okay, good luck. Hello? Hey, babe. How are you? Uh, Steph? Um, yeah. It, it it said number blocked. Is everything okay with your phone? Um, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention or anything. I think it's okay. How you doing? Ah, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Just uh, same old, same old. How about you? Um, I'm good. Are you still hanging out with your friend Adam this Friday? Uh, uh why? Well, I'm free this Friday. It would be cool if I could come with you and hang out with you guys. Yeah, almost any other night, that'd be cool. But <laughs> it's like his birthday, and it's just going to be a bunch of dudes. So, but definitely another night. Well, what about tonight? Oh, well, tonight's my night with you. So it's just you and me time. Um... Thinking back on the last few months, it's always just you and me time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, 
No, I mean, I've never really met any of your friends. We haven't even discussed your parents or anything, your family or anything. Well, I've discussed you with them, and next year they're having a big anniversary party, so we might want to go. Next year? <laughs> yeah. Look, it uh -huh. really feels like you're trying to keep me away from your friends and family. Uh -huh. Like, I'm just a booty call. Come on, babe. Like, no, come no, on. No, I'm come serious. On. I'm like your backstairs girl or something. Um, I don't want to give you a key to my place. It's because my ex lives in the building, and I, I don't want her to freak out. It's, so it's just, it's just safer to let you in the in the back stairs. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, who cares if she sees me? We've been together for half a year. Yeah. She's gonna find out. Yeah, I just don't want to ruffle any feathers. Uh, you know, we're like we're we're chill. You know, like no problems. Everything's cool. Well, Nobody, huh? I'm telling you, we're not chill. Why not? Oh my God, guys, are you are you all hearing this? Right? It is not cool. Yeah, it's not chill. Who, who are you talking to? Hi. Hello. Can someone hit the sound effect? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What? What are you doing? I'm going to double click it because I wasn't. What the, what the hell is happening right now? <laughs> there, I apologize. Tell us he sneaks you in the back staircase. No. <laughs> no um, who are these people? Hey. We're friends. Yeah. Grady, what's up, man? <laughs> you're, you're on the radio right now with Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And we're her friends, and we're not scared to tell everyone she's our friend. <laughs> Okay, this is... <laughs> surprise, weird, yeah, we're, we're doing Dude. something with you called an Awkward Tuesday phone call right now. Steph reached out because she's feeling a little frustrated with how your relationship is going. And uh, she's looking for a little bit of clarity because she feels like you've been hiding her, obviously. Uh, you have, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, maybe he's just not ready for that step in the relationship. Dude. I mean, yeah. I you make her wear a mask, too? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, why do you care if your ex knows that you're dating her? Okay, well, if we're really going to do this and be honest, I'm not 100% sure yet about our relationship. What? I'm not. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm not. After six okay. months? I sometimes feel like I'm kind of out of her league. Out of her league? Oh. Wait. Oh. That's you. Which direction? No. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think we need to react. <laughs> this feels like a cover-up. Uh, That's no. quite That's... interesting because I've literally shown your picture to my friends and they all say, I'm out of your league. Are you two actually arguing over who's out of whose league <laughs> right now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. Like, I've talked to some of my buddies too and they're like, yeah, I mean, why... It's Grady, just, we're like, just listening to what you're saying, and it sounds like you're just looking for somebody else to be your front stairs girl yeah. while Steph is the back stairs girl. Can we not use the stairs? That's, like, really... Well, okay, maybe you have an elevator in your building, and that's where you take the front stairs. No, maybe we need to use the stairs to get through to him here. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I get it, but it, it's all true. Like I said, I mean, like, like I don't know, maybe... You just just clean up a little bit more and maybe what? things will be fine. Oh, you no, did not do that. Do not no. That, clean up a little. What does that mean? Oh, Grady, so, right. Grady, why are you dating her for six months? You know what? That's a good question. Why have I been dating her for six months? Oh. It's probably a question I, you should have asked yeah. five months ago when yeah. you got to this point. It's you like if, yourself that. if you're so attractive and you can have any woman you want. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, jeez, I guess I'll just start going to a few more events and stuff and, like, hanging out and seeing who I can talk to and stuff. No, 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 I, I don't no. Think that's this was your he opportunity. Jumped he jumped ship pretty quickly, don't you guys? Yeah. Like, I, I, don't, thinking about I don't boat? think you guys had a ship. I think it was a small <laughs> rowboat. Yeah. yeah. Just both cleaning on. Or, like, a raft that yeah. was, like, deflating. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Oh, that sounds hot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, raft. <laughs> from stairs to rafts. Yeah. Steph, how are you feeling about all this? Um, obviously, I should have said something before because he doesn't seem like he's in this to win this with yeah. me. And I know I'm a catch, you know, and he can think he's a catch, whatever. Mm -hmm. But 
plenty other fish in the sea where the raft is. You're not you're not super <laughs> sad to lose him. It sounds it like. So well, I, well, I am, but like I wasn't feeling great about the whole thing. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you want to be with someone to feel great, not yeah. to feel bad. That's true. Well, Steph, if you want to wait till next year, like I said, there is the anniversary party. If you just pace it and maybe, like I said, clean up a little bit more. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. If you go, I that in. I don't know. Maybe some highlights or something. Just try oh, something new. Don't come in on the hair. Oh, oh, no. Dude, just leave it, man. At this point, hearing what we're hearing, stuff, you need to break yeah. up with him right now. Yeah. yeah. Don't he's, you dare he, be he, a back stairwell no. girl yeah. ever yeah. again. It's You're bad news stairs. for you. No one should ever talk to you like that, stuff. No. Just no. let him go. No. Yeah. Right now. No, <laughs> don't wait and think about it. I would just do it. Yeah. Listen, that's it. You said you you just said you didn't like my hair or whatever. I highlight. You know what? It's enough. Yeah, it's I think I've had enough. No, okay. Come in with the fire <laughs> hair right. stuff. I like that. That's, All right. We'll go over yeah. that response off the air. We'll, yes. You know, but yeah, I think it's over. And if you need a hug, feel free to come to the station. Yeah, I'm gonna go clean myself up quote-unquote, and get, oh. get out to the club tonight. Hey, hey. There you go, okay. After you're done, I'll meet you at the back stairs at 11. Oh. <laughs> Look at the ego on this guy. I you feel didn't like say no. Yeah, like, yeah. She's, she's like, I'm going to be there, but yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.